it is a, a situational question and it actually checks your understanding that how effective you are as a project manager to be very honest it is the real situation that i face in one of my project you know you have to balance the tension between your technical team and the client team you cannot just go and say you know you have to follow the timelines of client or you cannot just go and say that the client has to follow your team you know timeline you need to bridge the gap and make something that both the teams are actually following it in this scenario for this context option a here it says you know you are going to inform your client that your team has flexi timings yes your team has flexi timings but this timing is in your organization in your environment not at the client side so you know you cannot use this option and you said you cannot utilize it with the client especially when your team are sitting at their side so option number a with the context is the wrong option option number b says set the ground rules you see ground rules are the core thing when you are doing the project and you actually set these ground rules when you were developing the resource management plan when you are planning the resources and it comes under the heading of team charter so that you are talking about how you are going to resolve the issues and resolve the conflict how you will make the decisions how team will you know behave with each other so ground rules is the right option in this scenario if you look at the option number c it says that inform your team to follow the client time or 9 to 5 time as i said a option a is basically it looks like that you are taking your team side option c is like you are taking the client side uh, favor but it's not the case you need to follow or set a ground rule where both the team need to work together in collaboration and you know set something that is flexible for both of them then we have option number d where we we're talking about set the group norms so actually you know somehow uh, group norms and ground rules are being used interchangeably but the point is uh, ground rules are more of a non negotiable you know components where you say that you have to follow it and group norms is set by the team itself and they say how they are going to work together how they are going to meet with each other and how they are going to do, do how they are do, going to do the work in a different fashion so in this context the right answer for the situation is option number b where you are setting the ground rules those who have answered it correctly through understanding congratulations for others i hope it helped